Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. so. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and guys, please, if you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button. Let's get started. So as usual, we will start with the Dixie. We are looking at the daily time frame. Uh, as you know, guys, the Dixie been in a, a little bit of a bullish trend here on the daily. Yeah, uh, we know that the major trend, if we check the weekly time frame, we've been in a downtrend um, that's uh, clear here on the on the chart weekly time frame. But since we start this move here uh, and we go down to the daily time frame, we've been in this uh, minor trend, I would say, with higher highs, higher lows. Uh, we were expecting after a break above the 92 to look for a retest and then to see if the bulls will show up here for a potential continuation maybe toward this previous stop now that didn't happen and we've got um, quite a bit uh, move to the downside a couple of week of uh, a couple of bearish weeks and in my opinion now the key level that we should keep an eye at is these lows down here this previous area of uh, both uh, support and resistance here got violated a little bit but i think this level gonna be a uh, key for now if the bulls uh, will continue this momentum to the upside they need to defend this area and uh, that would mean uh, potential um, uh, support down here and then we see if they're gonna push higher uh, let's keep an eye on this 200 moving average on the daily as well because now the dollar is back below that 200 moving average so we had a break above but they, they failed to hold above which is not a good sign for the bulls because if they would uh, be a um, continuation they should retest this hold this level retest this previous high this area here and then further upside that didn't happen which is a little bit worrying but there is a little bit of a sign for for this because we have a hidden um bullish divergence hidden bullish divergence here on the dollar which is uh, a little bit of a good sign but that is not enough so again this here gonna be key for uh, the bulls to defend if they manage to do so we might see further upside otherwise if they break and close below this the dollar will might uh, might continue to the downside here and maybe fill this gap uh, checking gold gold also telling the same story about the dollar weakness because now gold broke the double top uh, the, sorry the double bottoms uh, neck down here so we had this double bottom the neckline is now clearly broken with a break and close above that neckline with a higher low here and a higher high here now retesting an important area though uh, if we look left so this broken level uh, that been acting resistance uh, sorry support is now getting retested but what is what's important here that this daily candle did actually this daily candle on friday did close above this high and this high and uh, looking on the weekly time frame uh, we know that gold been in a strong bullish uh, trend and we've been talking about this correction how far will this continue before uh, it start uh, the continuation move so is this the end of this uh, correction uh, after this higher low and we will start seeing further upside now that is the big question because we've got like uh, such move here five six weeks of a move to the upside then they fail to break higher and and we've got this uh, move to the downside so this is a pretty interesting scenario looking left now we see that the gold is retesting a very very important area so if the bulls are really gonna manage this um, uh, continuation they need to break above here hold above give us another higher low and then would be further upside maybe a retest of the 200 moving average or this uh, little shelf here might be uh, getting retested so um short term potential for the upside for the gold here uh, keep an eye on this newly broken area uh, you see we're retesting this important level at 1780 we might see uh, ear, uh, early next week a retest of monthly r1 keep in mind we broke above monthly r1 nicely here so a retest to that if the bulls show up here we might see further upside on uh, gold 
Oil also uh, broke higher, so out of this uh, choppy uh, range here that we had so we have now finally a clear break to the upside checking the weekly time frame we are still looking at a very very bullish market we had this that could be the correction and now maybe further upside on uh, oil so we will uh, keep an eye on this on the lower time frame and since on the daily we broke above this neckline a couple of days uh, two three days close above it uh, is uh, important thing to 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 have in mind for the bulls and uh, checking the four hour time frame it is clear what level we're gonna watch for next week so i'm uh, looking at monthly pivot point 200 moving average on the four hour that got broken this level here got broken right there any retest toward this area that give me bullish evidence a double bottom uh, an inverted head and shoulder or something like that we might looking for further upside here from this area maybe back toward 65 66 level on uh, oil and euro usd same there we go on the daily and we see that uh, where the price is testing right now is the key area uh, an important area the opposite of, of what we had on the dixie yeah so we had this um, previous uh, support that's been acting also resistance here uh, on this uh, key swing so this is a good swing to keep in mind so we had this move here we had this double top and then continuation so the first uh, textbook i Idea was to look for a retest and continuation to the downside but since the market did a almost 100% correction of this leg now it is a little bit tricky we have the same situation here in this uh, I, of course opposite of the Dixie we have a hidden bearish divergence uh, which is a good sign for the bears but it is not enough so uh, where the price is testing right now we need to wait and see what will happen here is this a little bit of a double top that will start a move to the downside a correction or something like that it is very hard to tell but what i what i do know that we do have this area here this uh, resistance level to keep an eye at if the price keep having trouble to break above it above this previous high and monthly r1 we could at least early next week uh, see some correction back down and i want you to really be aware of the news event for next week especially uh, thursday and friday we do have monetary policy statement we have press conference for the europe and on friday we have all these very important uh, services and manufacturing pmis uh, both from um, eu uh, uk and uh, from the us later so um, these news events going to surely affect these uh, markets so uh, the short term trend uh, on the four hour time frame is bullish still bullish but now meeting some resistance so as i said maybe early next week some correction back down at least toward this level and then maybe further upside or if they manage to break higher without any bigger correction then uh, of course we might uh, think that we need to look for a retest and further upside so we are at the flip zone here and uh, one need to wait and see what will happen sterling is checking the daily let's check the weekly actually so on the weekly we are clearly in a bullish trend we want to know if this was a correction and then we start a continuation now because last week was a nice bullish candle here and if we check the daily time frame we've had this uh, move a break lower then a retest and we were looking for maybe further continuation but what happened was stop here no break below previous low double bottom um, and uh, then the market start to push higher so this previous high is key for now we need to keep an eye on that because uh, it is a potential resistance level for next week so we had the break above this uh, we look for potential retest and maybe further upside i think short term this market want to test this uh, previous high um, at least especially if the dixie continue to the downside usd jappy also checking the weekly time frame been in a crazy move to the upside uh, and um, 
so far we had a couple of um, weeks uh, bearish weeks as uh, the correction and if we check the fib retracement we did not even reach 38.2 so there is still room to the downside i think 618 would be lovely as a correction level so do not see this as uh, something abnormal i mean uh, the move to the upside was an abnormal move but a, a correction is very very normal and at least 38.2 monthly s1 area 10780 level been a good uh, flip zone here looking left so i'm thinking that we might see some further downside here on this uh, market but uh, where the, we are right now is a, a potential short-term support to then look for 10790 as a key support area to then uh, maybe start look for some uh, bullish bounce to the upside so short term that could happen uh, checking the four hour time frame we see that uh, the market is holding the lows i think next week if they fail to break above monthly pivot point on the retest we might see that further move to the downside on uh, usd jappy usd chief almost the same scenario been in a crazy uh, trend to the upside broke higher the last move was a break to the upside here but as you see here on the daily we broke below previous structure which means this uh, trend here to the upside is now validated at least but again where we are testing at the moment is a key area so looking left this been acting as support here then it start acting resistance and right now the price um, is at that level at around monthly s1 and um, that could mean that bulls we might show up here and start defending we will see what will happen here we've got a little bit of a bounce on the four hour time frame to then push back down sit at that level is this the bottom the double bottom here and then further upside i would not confirm that until i see a break above the neckline so if that would be the case we need to see a break above the neckline a retest the hold above the neckline start giving us a higher low then um, we could look for that continuation otherwise if they fail here break lower i think we are pushing toward the next level which is this area down here so any break below this there is nothing on the way until we reach this next uh, major level on um, usd chief usd cad still in some kind of a <sighs> consolidation i would say i mean on the daily time frame we had this nice push to the upside and then we start going sideways like this um we are looking at a very uh, strong uh, bearish uh, trend here but it is important to to start thinking is this the bottom here or not uh, or if the market will uh, test this slow down here before that continuation so we go to the weekly time frame we see that we are still in this bearish trend we've had this uh, bounce higher here but the structure on the weekly bearish structure on the daily still not changed still bearish because we had lower low lower high another lower low and another lower high and we never broke higher so this here gonna be the key level to be broken if this will change direction to the upside otherwise i think we might still pushing once again to the downside on this market and keep an eye on the four hour time frame because the last move was a break to the downside a retest and then push back down so the question is if we're gonna get this uh, one more leg to the downside next week so any break below this next week that will signal further downside if this low here got taken out look for further downside at least a retest of this level uh, might happen if that would be the case aussie usd also been a very strong bullish trend checking the weekly we've had this uh, potential uh, head and shoulder the neckline never got broken on the weekly as you see here there is no close below uh, the neckline so still it not confirmed a um, uh, head and shoulder pattern is not confirmed on the weekly checking the daily we've got this nice lower low lower high another lower low and then equal lows here at the neckline so this neckline uh, is the head and shoulders neckline that i've been talking about on the weekly and on the daily here uh, we got never a close below that then we had this hammer and then a correction or uh, consolidation sorry and the market now broke above that co uh, consolidation so since that uh, happened 
and we have to break above this the only thing to do in my opinion right now is to wait for a correction back toward monthly pivot point and the broken structure to then start looking to see if the bulls will push from the area back toward the top of this range so that is the plan i have on uh, this uh, market for next week and then we have the new zealand usd which was the leading market here because this one did this consolidation and broke higher before aussie and um, started start a, a continuation move to the upside uh, much earlier so uh, the same plan would be here yeah since we had a break above this level we start look now for a little bit of a correction back down and then maybe further upside if the bulls would show up on this level uh, this is gonna be a key area to watch if we measure this leg on the fib retracement that would be a lovely level here the 618 and the previously broken structure looking left here been acting as a nice resistance got broken and at that sa same level you have the 618 Fibonacci retracement this is a very very good confluence in my opinion if we got that retest toward this area next week so uh, yeah guys that was it for um, this uh, weekly uh, update thanks a lot and uh, see you next Sunday bye bye